Welcome to my kitchen. Today I want to share with you a delicious new cookie bar that was a big hit at the last party that I went to. Everybody loved it. It's really fast to put together. I think I made it in about a half an hour before I left for the party. So, uh, I for the party I did regular flour, but today I'm going to do gluten free flour. So, this is two cups and just half a cup of packed brown sugar, half a cup of shortening, if it will come out. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, there we go. And an eighth teaspoon of salt and one egg. And so this is the cookie crust. And it's really easy to put together. I'm just going to mix it up until it gets kind of crumbly. So it might take a few minutes. And um, so it gets all nice and crumbly. And you need, you can do like a 13 by 9 ungreased uh, pan or two pie tins. I'm going to do two pie tins because I'm actually going to take this for Thanksgiving as a little dessert. And uh, let's see how this is going. I'm going to turn it up a little higher. up and kind of crumbly like that and it looks like a little bit of the shortening didn't get mixed in but that's okay all right so for these pie tins I'm going to divide this in half and just press it in with your hands and then you're going to bake it at 350 for 15 minutes just till it gets a little browned around the edges and once it gets all nice and browned around the edges then you're going to take a cup of white chocolate chips and a cup of brown chocolate chips and you're going to sprinkle it over and then you can use any kind of marshmallows you want white marshmallows would work out fine these just happen to be a special holiday uh, pumpkin spice marshmallows and chocolate mint marshmallows and you'd put like all this stuff evenly over and then this caramel is really easy to make it's just a half a cup of butter and half a cup of brown sugar and you're just going to bring it to a boil and then let it boil for one more minute and then you'll know it's done it will be kind of like a softball type thing you put it in a little cold water and you can see it's just kind of nice and soft like that you can actually return that to the pot if you want and you're going to pour that over your mixture also and you're going to bake it for another five minutes just till the marshmallows poof up and then once they poop up, you can take them out, drizzle chocolate all over it, and then it's ready to serve. Look at this. Did that look so delicious? So there you have it, our Rocky Road cookie bars. Enjoy them at your next party because everybody else is going to enjoy them too. Thank you for joining me.